My name is Paul Ed. I'm just finished the honours degree in construction management in Dalton Street, DT117. I started my studies part time in DIT on the higher certificate in construction technology, DT133, and following graduation from that, I went into DT134, which is the ordinary degree in construction technology. Uh, that was also part time. Uh, so following that, I wanted to secure professional membership to the Chartered Institute of Building. So I joined the full-time programme, which is DT117, last year. Initially, when I started the course, I had the idea that it was more about actually the technical aspects of building buildings and the science behind it and so forth. Like, but the course more is generated at those who want to get into the management of everything. You have quantity of Spain, you have health and safety, you have finance, you have law, economics, you have management itself. You know, you have maths, you have the engineering part setting out and you have the technology then which is actually building it. So there's, there's, there's a broad range of subjects covered in the course and they're done through the various different modules. As a manager you have, you have to nearly know what everybody's job is. We're taught as construction managers what everybody else has to do and focusing on how to do it as well. Like, but We're to know how they do it uh, and what, what they should be doing so that we can manage. Uh, before I decided to come to DIT, uh, I had a few years experience in the construction industry and I was beginning to move the management ladder uh, within a medium sized construction company. So I decided to get my qualifications because they are becoming more and more important. When I was on site, obviously, obviously I picked up a lot of things, but when I came to college, we were taught the procedures and a lot to do with health and safety and all the regulations to your building, which really cemented my knowledge, which I'd already got from my experience on site. Just before Christmas this year we had a big planning project and that project in particular it brought an awful lot of modules together into one and we were able to re revisit those modules and that was uh, with quantities of aim with takeoff. We had our AutoCAD, health and safety was brought into it, planning itself of the building site, uh, we had meta statements, you'd, you'd basically everything that you need to do if you want to be a construction manager was brought into the project and it really was, it was a great learning curve but when you come to the final year uh, we did a big planning project that basically encompassed a lot of the, a lot of the stuff we learned in the previous, previous three years. It started off with a set of drawings, 50 drawings for what was this year a scout hut and then we were told to pick our own site uh, anywhere in Dublin um, and then what we had to do, we had, to, we had the logistic challenges of planning the project from start to finish as in with deliveries, you know, setting up your cranes on site contacting county councils, all the forms you have to get as regards planning uh, and then actually planning the whole job out from start to finish using uh, a programme called Ask the Power Project uh, which is what we use on construction sites and this helps, it'll show you the critical part of all the items and it'll highlight any items that might stop or delay the project which is very important in the real world in construction management. Graduates from this programme uh, can go many directions uh, you can go the direction of being a quantity surveyor or maybe a commercial manager. Uh, you can go straight into construction management or a junior construction manager. Um, you can be a site engineer with the land surveying and setting out. Uh, we do a lot of finance, so you can go to the finance end of it if that's where you're interested. There's also uh, an emphasis on sustainability in the course. And that's where I want to go myself. There's health and safety, you can be a health and safety manager. There's, like, I think there's 37 modules in the course, so you're not typecast into one site manager role, like if you want to go a certain way, you know, there's enough flexibility within the course and even within your projects to choose certain angles and you can focus a bit more on them which will help you coming towards your thesis if, if it's an area you're interested in. Well, on, on the course there was a very good mix of students, there's a few girls, a few mature students like myself, but uh, the majority was made up of leaving their students and for them, even a lot of site visits actually, it was really beneficial to them getting some experience on site. Well, as a mature student coming back this year, I I found it very, uh, like I should have done it years ago. <laughs> like I missed out doing it from school. When I left school, I went walking straight away. And uh, I came back then, I was 29 part time. But this year, uh, going full time, I really enjoyed it actually. And I enjoyed being in with the, the good, a good mix of people really in the class. A lot, a lot of experience in the class. And also, I enjoyed actually trying to help the younger lads who were in there to give me, pass on some of my experience to them. <laughs>